Hey church, welcome to today's devotion. My name is Darren and I am one of the pastors here at Audacious Church. We have started our new series, Memes, Wisdom from Proverbs, and it's absolutely brilliant. Proverbs 4 verse 5 says, get wisdom, get understanding. Do not forget my words or turn away from them. Some translations use the word pursue, encouraging us to pursue wisdom and understanding. Pursue means to attain, seek, chase, explore, and engage with Solomon. The wisest man ever instructs and encourages you and I to make getting wisdom, pursuing wisdom and understanding a priority in life. And if you lack wisdom, check this out. James 1 verse 5 in the NIV says, if any one of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without fault and it will be given to you. Ask for wisdom. Over the next few weeks, many of the pastoral team will be sharing their favourite proverbs as part of our daily devotions. Mine, one of my favourite proverbs is Proverbs 3, 3 to 4. I absolutely love it and I've tried to live my life by it. It says this, let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you'll win favour and a good name in the sight of God and man. In the hustle and bustle of our daily lives, it's easy to lose sight um, of core virtues that should guide us. Proverbs 3 verse 4 reminds us to keep love and faithfulness at the centre of everything we do. Love and faithfulness are lifelong companions. Imagine them as precious gems. Solomon advises us to bind them around our, our necks and engrave them on our hearts, making them inseparable from who we are. This means consistently showing kindness, loyalty and trustworthiness in our interactions and words. They are visible and internalized virtues. When love and faithfulness are visibly worn like a necklace, they influence how we treat others, how we respond to challenges, and how we conduct ourselves daily. When they are written on our hearts, they shape our thoughts, motivations, and decisions. Gaining favor and a good name is also important. Living with love and faithfulness brings twofold blessing. Favor with God, and a good reputation among people. When we live out these virtues, we align ourselves with God's character, inviting his blessing. At the same time, we build trust and respect in our relationships, creating a positive impact in our world and with those around us. Take a moment today to reflect. Are love and faithfulness evident in your life? How can you better embody these virtues in your actions and your thoughts? Commit to small intentional acts of kindness and reliability. Let these virtues shine through you, bringing light to the world around you. Wear love and faithfulness and inscribe them on your heart. I love that. It's absolutely brilliant and stands us in good stead to show the world the love of Jesus. Let me pray this. Lord Jesus, Help us to embrace love and faithfulness in every aspect of our lives. May these virtues guide our actions and be deeply rooted in our hearts. Grant us favour in your sight and among those we encounter daily. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great rest of your day, church, and I will see you soon and hope you enjoy this journey through Proverbs.